I am diving into the scrum. Well, a bunch of years ago, um, our partners at Kohler came to us and said, we want to do a world-class food and wine event at our location. And we said, okay, tell us a little bit more about it. And they said, we have a beautiful location. We want to have great talent. And it's a spectacular place, really, really great service. And we said, okay, that's the criteria for a great event. We'd be happy to be part of it. Well, I've been to the event many times. I'm always happy to come to Kohler, Wisconsin. People um, that have been here all say they can't wait to come back. And um, those who haven't been here are missing out. I mean, look at that, that's sculpture. The Food & Wine's biggest philosophy is finding the best young talent, whether it's our Food & Wine Best New Chef program, or our Wine Awards, or our Tastemaker Awards. Food & Wine is really committed to finding great young people who are the next thing. We're not talking about, you know, what chefs have been doing for 20 years. We're talking about what chefs will be doing in 20 years from now. Wisconsin is a very warm place, and I love what they created here at the Cooler Wine Food & Festival. I think it's evolving every year, it's growing. And it's growing like a different type of uh, uh, clientele in a way. They come here because they want to celebrate something unique. Okay, so you see it from an international and a national perspective. You're in Chicago, but you're Wisconsin born and bred. How do you see the culinary scene in Wisconsin developing? Well, just like anywhere else in America, Wisconsinites travel. I mean, 25 years ago, 20 years ago when we opened Manja in Kenosha. Yeah. How many people, if I went to the dining room and said, how many people here have been to Italy? You know, there'd be a smattering of hands. Today yeah. I can walk into any dining room, I mean, Manja in Kenosha, restaurants in Milwaukee, mm -hmm. and say, how many of you have been to Italy? And so many people have been now. They're so international. They, they, yeah. they understand what you're trying to do. So that's, I think, really the advantage today is that people travel, they know. Even in Wisconsin, everybody knows. And I actually really love Wisconsin and I love coming here in the fall because not only is the food really rich and it's harvest time, um, but it's just such a beautiful time of year to be here and coming from New York to a place where the leaves are changing and the brooks are babbling, it's, I feel like I'm a million miles away. Uh, my philosophy behind cooking, I like keeping things really bold. I want you to be able to taste every ingredient that's in there that means don't overload things. Not necessarily a purist, but uh, you know, I like experimenting with stuff, but not I like keeping keeping cooking methods true. You know, a roast is a roast, a braise is a braise. I don't I don't really deconstruct. I'm not even though I appreciate it, I'm not really into into experimenting with molecular gastronomy or anything like that. But but I do respect it and appreciate it because any sort of different approach to cooking I, I think is great. I think Wisconsin's beautiful, they have great food products, um, it's a beautiful state, nice people. They speak funny though. But other than that, they're great. We're good on him! Um, you know, there's a lot of things that I believe about food and I think that the most important thing is just to taste everything. Um, and I think that's what's really made me be able to understand um, and, and sort of harness my palate and learn about what makes food great and what makes food not so great. Um, the most important thing is just try it. Stay open-minded. It might be scary, it might be weird, it might not be what you were used to or what you were raised on, but there's no harm in trying, and you might even like it. So I'm here at the market in Kohler with Chef Hung Nguyen. So you were um, an alum of Per Se. You uh, were the third season Top Chef winner, yes. Top Chef on Bravo. And now you've got your own seafood restaurant online in Manhattan. Tell me, you know, about what's important to you cooking-wise. Uh, cooking for me now is definitely simplicity. Mm -hmm. As I cook more, I mean, I'm still pretty young, but as more I cook, my, my food becomes more simple, meaning three to four components to a dish. Okay. No, no more than that, whereas if too much, it gets confusing. Interesting. And using a lot more local products, supporting the farmers. Yeah, yeah, what you can pull from close by. Yes, and not buy org organic stuff from Peru. I've always watched Top Chef. When, it, when it, the first season, and uh, I remember saying to myself, yelling at the screen also, like, hey, you know, that's easy, I can do that, I can win that. So when, and, and my friend was on the, the second season, and when the third season came around, it was almost like an accident. They came to my restaurant looking for a place to do audition. I walked out saying, I want to be in the show, they interviewed me, and, and the rest is history. Well, this has been tremendous. 
it's it's actually amazing to have someone so young with so many accolades and to be on Wisconsin Foodie. And uh, I hope your visit to Wisconsin has been good. It's been great. It's been yeah. great. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. Well, maybe we can catch up with you again sometime. Thank you very much. Best of luck, man. Thank you. You bet.